All right, so we're about to react to Izuka saying some shit. And the video says how Sonic Frontiers came to be an open zone game. The description says we talk with Sonic Team creat Creative Officer Takashi Izuka to find out the origins, pun, of Sonic Frontiers open zone design, the split between that design and the traditional linear 3D Sonic level, so cyberspace, and the lessons learned from Sonic Adventure that went into Sonic Frontiers. Clearly not enough lessons. Find out all of this and more in the Suzuka-san interview for Sonic Frontiers. So we are going to react to this and see if Azuka can say words that make us feel better without showing us gameplay that makes us feel better because that's how Sonic Team do. Danny Zook, do not disappoint! Where's Kishimoto? He doesn't want to catch the smoke. He's hiding, letting Daddy Zook take the fall for this. Well, Daddy Zook keeps hiring him, so maybe he should take the fall for this. Let's go! Let's go! Alright. Forces music. Ah, Forces 2. I told you to get prepared! I played Lost Valley for a reason! You're getting prepared for Frontiers! Daddy Zook! You've had the 2D classic and 3D modern Sonic. Till now, you've had the 2D classic Sonic and 3D modern Sonic. But as we think about the future games we want to deliver, we wanted to challenge ourselves to create a new type of 3D action game with a higher level of freedom. High level of freedom, but no momentum. Not really much freedom in the, the physics. In the control. After completing forces, we brainstormed what game we wanted to make next. What did they make next? This? We only thought about the standard linear game format for 3D Sonic games. Our ability to innovate felt limited. He would only be able to develop something the fans had already seen before. Yes, we wanted what we've seen before with, with better graphics. That's all we wanted. So we had to think about the linear gameplay format, how we're going to change it. And have those conversations with the development team members from the beginning. I couldn't read that. One of the factors for the idea for this project was to take the linear game design and turn it into an action game with a high level of freedom as the core starting point. But there's no freedom in the movement! So unlike the other open world action adventure games, the origin of the game design is completely different. It's not that different, let's be real. The base of our game is a Sonic 3D action adventure game expanded to a freer game. All this talk about freedom, but you limited our movement! Oh my god, mm. It's the wrong kind of freedom! No open world games, games like Zelda or other AAA open world games out there. So they mention Breath of the Wild, okay. All the people saying it's not Breath of the Wild. They even put fucking... Is that Dark Souls Elder Ring? I believe we're using it for War for an RPG adventure game, but Sonic is taking the 3D action game as its core and having it take place in an open space is the origin. It's not that different. Stop tooting your, your own horn. Like, it's not that different. So what makes Sonic Frontier different how we approach the open space, which is unique? How is it unique? How is it you Tell us how it's unique. So on the Open Zone Islands, you can discover many things and enjoy very Sonic-y 3D actions. So the difference is rails with scripted sections. The more traditional linear high-speed action stages. Okay, show us the cyberspace. Show us the cyber spacer. This is the sort of gameplay that fans of the previous Monster Sonic 3D action titles will really enjoy. God, this is taking too long. Come on, I'm trying to read. By merging the new open zone and traditional three into the same island. Okay, show us the cyberspace. Show us. Players will be able to experience an even broader variety of 3D actions than ever before. Show us cyberspace. Exploring the islands is part of the fun in Sonic Frontiers. And it's about both the 3D actions on the island and the excitement of what you discover that is fun. On the islands in Sonic Frontiers, there are a lot of things to do on the island. Like what? One of those is puzzle solving. Yeah, we saw those basic class puzzles. Come on. Some of these require action gaming techniques to solve, while others require mental skills. 
All right. By implementing various kinds of gameplay into the puzzles, you'll be able to unlock lots of different areas on the island. And expand the play area on the island as another fun thing to do. So Ubisoft Towers. Sonic Frontiers is a clearly different and more realistic look compared to our previous Sonic games. The storytelling in Sonic game as well has always been like something bad has happened, fix it. That's not how it's always been. Have you forgotten the adventure error? It was very directly communicated to the player, this is what you need to do, this is what's happening. But for Sonic Frontiers, you follow Sonic to the islands and he doesn't know what to do or how to save his friends. We want people to explore the islands and find the answers to these questions alongside Sonic. That's the theme. So we have to figure out the story basically, Breath of the Wild. So the soundtrack also has less focus on upbeat tracks themed to each specific zone. So open world music basically. It's more focused on creating the support and that feeling of mystery you will have on the islands. Yeah, I already done flipped this into a beat. This time, as I mentioned before, these mysterious islands are the stage for all of the events. So they said islands! So the four islands theory is still alive. Okay, they said islands. This isn't the only island. We work hard to create the graphics and look that convey that mystery. Sonic fans from 30 years ago are adults now. Yes, we know. There are young fans who may have started with the movies and other... Yes, we also know that. Oh, for we want Sonic brands to appeal to both groups of fans across games and other media. You can't appeal to everyone with mid, okay? As part of the strategy, oh, their strategy is to give them origins. And then we have to deal with the mid. All right, yeah, origins. Yeah, we know about origins. Then Sonic Frontiers is something new that even our 3D Sonic veterans will find new and exciting. Oh, I'm so excited. Moving forward, on a title by title basis, we will focus on these target audiences and deliver games for those fans. All they mentioned was modern fans and, and classic fans. Like people that came from the movie and then classic fans. Where's everyone in between? He would like to continue the Sonic Adventure series at some point. What? Huh? 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 At, at which point? At which point? At which point? At which point? At which point, Izuka? No, you, you know, Frontiers is not it. No. Which point? Go back. Go back. You haven't thought about your next game yet. All the. F so they're gonna use the work they put into Frontiers to make another adventure game? <laughs> We're fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. Adventure 3 gonna play like Frontiers? <laughs> it's a wrap. Oh, Sonic Adventure 3, 2027, and it's Frontiers. Oh, gosh. They're going to build Adventure 3 on Frontiers engine. <laughs> Daddy Zook, it's one thing to make new mid, okay? But don't ruin all, all, all games, okay? Don't go and make Adventure 3 with Frontiers engine. I'm sorry. You can't do that shit. You can't. <laughs> You're not allowed, okay? It's been banned. It's been prohibited, okay? You're not doing that. If I see Sonic Adventure 3 in 2027 and it controls like Frontiers, I swear Izuka, okay? I swear, no. <laughs> We're not doing that shit, okay? But in terms of my thoughts on this little event, it's more of Izuka throwing breadcrumbs the same words without showing shit. Talking about cyberspace and not showing cyberspace. Talking about other islands, not showing other islands. Talking about how they learnt from adventure, but showing that they learnt from forces and not really adventure. I, I don't know. It's just the same old shit. It's the same old shit. I want to see. I'm tired of hearing. Okay, I want to see. And speaking of hearing, they said the music is gonna, is gonna be like some piano breath of the wild type shit. So you already know what to expect, man. Frontiers, yeah, 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 you you know what to expect. But that adventure comment, he's definitely thinking of going back to the adventure era after this. But the only problem is, if they don't really understand what we liked about the adventure games, then it could just be a situation where he fucking just takes the Frontiers shit 
and then just uses that to build adventure remakes on top of it or some shit like that. I don't know. But if he does that, there's going to be a serious physics issue that we're going to have to address. And I don't think models can fix all of that, okay? So that's pretty much all i got to say about this. Let me know what you guys think about this Izuka interview. Did he say anything that tickled your fancy? And yeah, there was no new gameplay, unfortunately, because we are being cocked. But hopefully there'll be new gameplay soon. But yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And of course, make sure to check out the non-Sonic channel. The link will be in the description. And I'm going live on there right now. Probably as, as you're watching this, I'm probably live. So you should be here right now. But that's all I have to say right now. So, Dremia!